minutes until the weekend. What should we do? I'm thinking we spend Saturday relaxing, pampering ourselves, and totally overindulging. Then come Sunday, we'll pamper, overindulge, and relax, just to mix it up. Research shows that buds your age waste 22% of their lives on purely selfish activities. I believe this class can do better. Yeah, we could kick it up to 30-40% easy. So I've decided to make half your final social studies grade depend on your completion of one totally selfless volunteer act. I do not like where this is going. You can sign up to be a big bug sister or brother for the next six Saturdays. Or you can haul rocks for the elderly. Well, the little sister thing sounds interesting. And by interesting, I mean easy. But six Saturdays? What about a relaxing girl pampering and overindulging? What little sister wouldn't love that? We'll spend our Saturdays the way we always do, but just bring our little sisters with us. and earn a good grade while doing it. It's a win-win. Oh, all right. As long as it doesn't ruin my Saturdays. That's the spirit. And Bugs Bit says we're selfish. So then after the six weeks, I'll ask your little bug sister how it went. And based mostly on her answers, I'll issue your final evaluation. You'll be amazed at how fast you come to love these girls. Like they were your own sisters. <laughs> I think I love them already. Take a handful. We buy in bulk. Dana, Carmella, come on in. Raina, this is Dana. Hi, I'm Raina. <gasps> no, no, you first. <gasps> I really like, like your outfit. outfit. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be so great. Oh, now me. Do me, do me, do me. Okay, Maggie, um, just a heads up. Carmella, your little bug sister, is going through a bit of a phase. It's not a phase. Not a caterpillar, not yet a butterfly, you might say. She's still in her cocoon. And don't talk about me like I'm not here! Uh, hi, I'm Maggie. It's really nice to meet you. What's that supposed to mean? I think what Maggie was trying to... I just meant that I'm really glad to meet... I know exactly what you meant. I'm going home! <laughs> <laughs> wow, the cocoon doesn't really... muffle her voice much, does it? Uh, I need to go after her. <laughs> I'll trade ya. <sighs> Painting dishes. <sighs> yeah, big old barrel of yucks for a girl in a cocoon. But Mrs. Flybottom said you could do whatever we do. What does she know anyway? If you want, I could paint something for you. Oh, so now I'm not creative? I just don't like pottery, okay? Oh boy. Hey, Raina, look what I did. Oh, that is so sweet. You like her better. I'm going home. <laughs> well, that's that. At least now we can start to have some fun. Rena, I have to go after her. I can't mess this up. It's half my grade. Grades on everything. I should have old rocks. Catch you guys later. <laughs> Last 
on to the trash bean buys milkshakes. Woo! There, that ought to do ya. Feel that? No. Great, let's skate. Okay, go! I'm not a baby! I just don't want you to fall. I can do it myself! Okay. See? I'm fine. Totally fine! Are you okay? How did you just stand there? Why didn't you help me? Yeah, ever wonder your cocoons float? Excuse me, could you move your bag? I can't see over it. I'm not a bag. Bringing me, Raina. I've wanted to see this movie for like ever. Ah, don't get your wings all flutter. The fly that you think got zapped returns to avenge his brother in the end. <gasps> That's it! I have had it. Raina? Don't you Raina me. She just ruined the movie just like she's ruined every Saturday. She is your little sister. You deal with her. Come on, Jamie. What's her problem? I hate it when friends just bail. Me too. What did you just say? I said me too. Totally hate. So we just agreed on something. What else do you hate? I don't know. I hate girls who think they're all that. Me too. And how about when your mom says, take that dress off, young lady. It's way too tight. Oh, that's the worst. Or when your dad says, did you take that money out of my wallet? Totally. Hey. Since you already ruined the ending, what do you say we blow off the movie and get out of here? Lead the way! How's your dress? It's tight. How's yours? I can't even breathe. It will take three. I hate being told to eat like a girl. What you know is just code for don't enjoy your food. Exactly. and check out the celebrity magazines. I'd say it sounds great, little sis. We can do it all, right after the evaluation. What evaluation? The one where you tell Miss Flybottom what a great big sister I've been and I get a fantastic grade and ace my social studies class. Oh, so I'm just a grade to you? Oh boy. Don't you just hate it when you think you have a friend, but then it turns out that the friend is just using you as a friend so that that friend can get a good grade? Huh? I'm going home. You are home. No, you are! I definitely should have hold rocks. Thank you for showing up and helping me out. It really means a lot. You owe me big time for this, Maggie. I can't believe you ditched that girl to come fake an interview. I cannot let half of my entire grade get screwed up because of her. I'll go find her and make nice later. But right now, it's go time. Now, let me hear your best Carmella impression. I am a big whiny baby. Where, where? That's... Terrible. She's coming! Quick, get through there! Ow! Ah, oh, my last interview. The others have been just wonderful, especially Raina and Dana's. Oh, <laughs> you bet. Shh, Maggie, did you just shush your little sister? No, I mean, yes, but out of concern for her throat. She lost her voice, poor thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't worry, we'll make this quick. I think that's wise. So, on a scale from one to five, how would you rate your relationship in terms of compatibility? A five plus plus. Thank you, Maggie. I was asking Carmela. Well? That's it? A four? I give you a five plus plus. There you are. Maggie, what kind of big bug sister are you? Carmela? You didn't even come after me. Who's that? Oh, that? Uh, that's my bag. <laughs> the bag?
I gotta keep my best friend in? Sorry, Maggie. I love you, girl. But I won't spend one more second with that cocoonatic. I am out. You're the worst big bug sister ever! I'm going home! You're going home. Big surprise. Well, there's the door. Slam away. You are a spoiled, self-centered, obnoxious brat. Instead of always blaming everyone else, why don't you take a good hard look at yourself? Don't bother calling Mr. Bugsbit. I'll tell him I failed. No, wait. No one's ever talked to me like that before. Have I really been that awful? Yes! Oh, sorry. Wow. Well then, I guess that's something I need to work on. Maggie, I think I owe you an apology. You and about 40 other people. You really mean it, Carmella? I do. I really do. Then apology totally accepted. Hmm. I feel sort of different. Attack! She's gonna blow! Wow! Carmella, you're amazing! Oh, look at me. Oh, thank you, Maggie. Thank you, everyone. Oh, it's a miracle. I didn't think anyone would ever get through to her. So I get an A, right? And that's how I learned to use left-handed scissors with my right hand. It's that kind of versatility that made me the principal I am today. <laughs> Moving on to cafeteria news, the meat of the day is... No. Ugh, if boring was money, Pester could buy his own island. And if pain was money, I wouldn't mind listening to him. Let it end, dear bug, let it end. And as a lunchtime announcement treat, I have composed a winter haiku. Flakes of moisture fall. I build a snowfly so large his name will be Ted. Thank you. I've also composed a winter sonnet. Oh, we have got to get that mic out of his hands. Hey, what if we did that? I've got it. We should be doing the announcements. But that's what I was going to... It'd be like having our own radio show. Big ups to the mathletes for zapping fly high yesterday. Still undefeated, yo. Spin us to first period, DJ Ray Ray. <laughs> kids want to listen to other kids, right? Yeah, nobody ever listens to kids. We could start protests, we could make signs, I could paint signs. I'm a good painter, I like blue. Quiet, Peepert, I'm scheming. Mm. And then I say, spin us to first period, DJ Ray Ray, and then Raina'd be all like, what 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 Mmm, captivating. I'll be straight with you, Maggie. Announcements are like a release valve for me. Being principal is a high-stress job. But... However, if radio's your bag, I've got just the thing in the unclaimed lost and found box. Yours to keep if you like. <laughs> I used one of these when I was your age, when being principal one day was just some crazy kid's dream. A vintage DJ Dan microphone. <laughs> this baby beams to any radio frequency you choose, up to 500 yards. Hello, FM 86.9. I know principals have always done the announcements in the past, but... Sorry, Maggie. It's been fun saying no to you, but I've got my stressful job to attend to. Like apprehending the school outlaws. The secret spitballer. The shoelace mother. The desktop doodler. Good day. Mr. P, what's the bigger stress break? Doing your boring announcements or having a totally clean most wanted list? I'm listening. I'll find your secret spitballer, your gum water, all of them. In exchange, you give me the announcements. Hmm. What makes you think you can expose those sneaky hooligans? I'm very stealthy, Mr. P. <laughs> sure you are. Where's that DJ Dan mic? It's right here in my hand. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> you have got yourself a deal, Missy. Ew. This was way too near his mouth. Hey, Maggie. I had some great ideas for your show when you get your show. And a pain of sign. And later, Pupert, I've got work to do. Nobody ever listens to me. I'm only selling out the bad kids. They deserve to be ratted out. But aren't you worried about snooping into the dark side of Buzzdale? Nah. Pester hooked me up with loads of his personal crime-fighting gear. Disguise kit. 
digital camera, and look, if I really get into trouble, an emergency homing beacon. Trouble, Nagy? False alarm, Principal B. Hmm. Ooh, that's cool. And what's that over there? Spitball trap. Made that myself. Ooh, shh. Spitballer, your secret is out. I mean, she's my own sister and she won't even listen to me. How is that fair? Look at this little fleeb, pacing around, talking to himself. I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to my imaginary radio audience. It's like you want me to beat you up. No, not really. Ah, much safer. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Nobody listens to kids. Like how I tell the nurse I hate banana lollipops, but that's what she gives me anyway. Banana? They taste like foot. Why can't nurses just give me the flavor of lollipop I want? Just stick me with a two-inch needle and at least offer me grape or melon. Who is this guy? I don't know, but he's making sense. If I should hear this, everyone should hear this! Oh, and I had dreams once, too. I was once going to be a hair model. Hey, everyone! You gotta hear this! What is tartar sauce, anyway? And why do they have to slap it all over my fish sticks? Why can't I choose my own kind of meat? Here's the guy who tells it like it is! Spread the word! FM 86.9! It's like the, the mouth of my soul! This time, Gumwater, the charges are gonna stick. Oh, my bug! That's it! That's what? Well, Pubert, looks like I'm gonna get my announcement show. I have a show now, too. Of course, mine's just pretend, but I... Yeah, yeah, that's sweet, Pupie. We'll play later. Maggie, but I'm talking about things that are important to me. Okay, I'm back. Yeah. And you know, there's one person who really chaps my hide. Now, I don't want to name names, but somebody really needs to be taught a lesson in manners. <laughs> he must be Nurse Hutchison. Curse her banana lollipops! He must mean the lunch lady. Curse our mandatory tartar sauce! He must mean the librarian. I don't like the way he shushes. Yeah! No more foot taste, no more foot taste. No more tartar, no more tartar. Nicer shushing, nicer shushing. Oh, hey, Mr. P. I've come to collect. Not now, Pesky. Uh -huh. oh, for bug's sake, this is a library, nicer people. Shushing, <laughs> hey, Pestrip. Fork over the announcement. Got all your perps right here. Yes, but there's been a new addition to the list. Dr. Truth. You can't add to the list. Do you feel me, people? Do you feel me? Yeah! Radio show? But that's my thing. Not until you bring me the secret of Dr. Truth, it isn't. Uh, fine, I'll do it. But this wasn't our deal. I want an absolute promise. Principal's honor. The announcements are a small price to pay for Dr. Truth's identity. Really? Because I've been thinking of asking for a jukebox in the girls' room and... <clears throat> going. How come first-year students can't go to dances? First-years aren't going to take it anymore! Yeah! Guys, I need a way to track down Dr. Truth. Pronto! We've got just the thing. Come on, first-years! Let's stage a dancing! Dr. Truth? Uh, how'd you know my secret DJ name? Secret? The whole school's listening to you. You've got your own angry mob. 
But uh, I didn't want a mob. Not even a happy one. I didn't even know I was on the air. I just wanted to talk to someone, but no one ever listens to me. You never listen. Reasons don't really matter at this point, Pupi. I gotta turn you in to get my announcement show. To turn me in? But don't worry. Me and Pester are tight now. I'm sure I can cut a deal for you. A month of detention tops. You know what they do to soft, timid bugs in detention? Kabow! And I'm not good with... Kabow! Oh, come on, Pupi. A month in detention is nothing to Dr. Truth. Would you stop for once and listen to me? I'm scared. <laughs> oh, Pupi, you're right. I I've just been thinking of myself. I'm sorry, buddy. I I'm listening now, and I do care. Don't worry about detention. We'll figure some way out of this. Oh, Maggie, you're the best. We accidentally triggered it! Maggie, do you need help? Is that no good radio rabble rouser in there? Oh no, this is all my fault! It's over! I'm squashed! Goodbye! So, let me get this straight. You're Dr. Truth? Yep, -er. And you found her? Roger that, big fella! I don't believe you. Would Dr. Truth lie? Well then, looks like you won't get the announcements after all. <laughs> Actually, you promised the announcements are a small reward for Dr. Truth's identity, remember? <laughs> and he found me, so... Looks like everybody's going to be listening to my baby brother now, huh? Man, it was cold today. How cold was it? It was so cold, I had to wear boots. <laughs> <laughs> Boots. I love that kid. But seriously, folks, it's me, Love Thursday, again, and I... Bless you, secret spitballer. Imagine and learn with Stanley and all of his animal friends. Stanley's coming up next, here inside Playhouse Disney.